All right, I want to talk real quick about my belts and straps and the various different shapes and sizes and uses and see uh, what you might have the most value at, at in your training in your facility. Number one, TSS belt squat belt. Okay, so it's four foot, six foot wide, super comfortable. It's got a six thousand pound limit. Okay, boom. It actually. Right now it doesn't come with the carabiners. You don't need them if you have a hook to hook onto. Just get a carabiner at any uh, hardware store. So if you wanted to use it for as a belt for a belt squat, if you have a belt squat apparatus, boom, just hook it right on there and you start squatting. If you want to use it for weighted dips and weighted pull-ups, and super simple, you get right in there and start dipping right away, start doing your pull-ups, you can also use it for uh, just kettlebell belt squats. It's got the benefit of easy in, easy out, not a pain in the ass dealing with all the chains and all that stuff. Super comfortable and you're not going to get stronger. One, you don't need 6,000 pounds, but it's going to last a lifetime. Um, there's a couple other things I use it for. Uh, you're looking at back raises, sissy squats, hack squats. Um, the options are going to be endless, but really you're going to get the most value out of the same core three to five exercises. Just like the TRX straps. 90% of the TRX straps are doing like body weight rows and two or three other things. The people that are looking for a million different exercises, eh, we, we know it's starting to get a little bit squirrely. Sure, there might be some value, but the meat and potatoes, the majority, 90% of your work is usually done with 10% of the effort or 10% of the movements. Moving on from the belts, I've got two different short belts. I've got a full loop, and this is where you're going to hold it on your wrist the same way you would a typical weightlifting strap, right? Hold on one second. So let's say you've got a typical weightlifting strap. Boom, it's gonna sit right there, wrap it around the bar here, and put it around the wrist, and then loop it around anything I want. So if you wanna do single arm movements, attach it to a cable or a band, this is good. Um, I loop it over a bar and I can do rows, I can do pull-ups, I can do a variety of exercises here. My favorite thing to do with the loop is leg curls and leg raises. So this is where you attach, might be hard to see, but now you're going to attach a band or a cable or something and I can do a variety of uh, leg curls, leg raises, a few different exercises. And having the nylon up against your skin is a lot better than having this stretchy latex band right on your skin. Wrapping that around, it gets tight, it, 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 it like shreds your skin and your hair, so it just feels way better and uh, just seems to work a lot better as well. Um, a, lot of, a lot of options there. I also have a similar, but this has got double handle, so it's got handle here and I can get either one and this is a two inch the two inch rated for over six thousand pounds the one inch is rated at let's see six thousand pounds as well so the only value is would you would it feel better having a two inch there or the one inch if it's just you you know you got to think how big are your wrist and hands but this is plenty strong enough and I actually kind of prefer the one inch. So this is a typical wrist strap. It's about just over an inch. So one inch, the two inch, the two inch is a little bit bulky, but it's options. So you got to think, I think that the, uh, the full loop has a little bit more options. Now we've got the six foot straps. They're, they're both three foot. These are six foot. So I kind of got tired for some of the exercises, I was having to double loop it like that. Instead of using a six foot double looped, I just started using the three foot. And that's typically for doing rows. Now these I use a lot more like a TRX strap. I'll throw it over and choke it around the uh, pull up bar, something like that, right? So, boom, come around there. Okay, start doing a bunch of exercises there. 
triceps, you can do face pulls, curls, rows, all kinds of stuff. So that pair, I'll break down the, uh, I'll break down the cost of everything. And the final thing I have, so the purple straps, I'm probably gonna go to the uh, all yellow. So disregard the color purple or, uh, or yellow, different, uh, different brands, but the same exact thing. But these purple ones are rated at 2000 pounds. And then I have my HD that's rated at 60, working load limit of 6,400 pounds. You don't need 6,400 pounds, but it just shows how strong it is. The only value that the HD straps, the 6,400 pound limit straps have is when I use them for safety straps. So if I'm doing heavy squats, I can hang it in the rack and it's like safety spotter arms. So if I need to dump a heavy squat, boom, it catches. Obviously 2,000 pounds is gonna be enough, but if you need to dump a heavy load, four, five, 600 pounds, you don't want there to be any question. So as you know, if I drop 500 pounds, two feet, it's not 500 pounds anymore. It's now well over a thousand, might be 2,000 pounds of force, boom. And I don't want that to, to uh, snap. So this, there's no worry. I don't really think there's any worry there, but it's just an extra safety precaution to have the, a few thousand pounds extra. So that's the deal. I recommend everyone pretty much get a belt for your squats, your dips, your pull-ups, back raises, etc. And it's just one kind of either a loop strap, short double loop strap, or probably the most versatile would be a pair of the long gorilla straps. Let me know if you have any questions.